Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The United States District Court for the Western District of Missouri is now in session. The Honorable Brian Gaddy presiding. God save the United States and this Honorable Court. Thank you, Paige. Good afternoon. You made it. Congratulations. Happy to see each and every one of you. I know this is an exciting day for each and every one of you, and I'm excited for you. It's my honor to welcome you to citizenship of our country. My name is Brian Gaddy, I'm the United States Magistrate Judge. I was appointed to the bench uh, recently, back in September of 2020. I took the oath, similar to the oath that you're going to take on September 25th. That's a date that I will always remember. Today's a day that you will always remember. You have worked very hard in becoming a United States citizen, so congratulations again. This is a great accomplishment. I think our country is the best country in the world. Despite the challenges we all face, and we know we've faced a lot of them recently with the pandemic and other issues, it still uh, remains a great place to live. No other nation on earth was founded with such a burning desire to have a country that would guarantee to every citizen those basic fundamental rights that assure human dignity and freedom. In a few minutes, you will swear an oath that all naturalized citizens must make when becoming a citizen. Just like my oath, you will promise to support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States. Why is that? The Constitution is the heart and soul of this country. It was signed in 1787. For more than 230 years, our Constitution has been the symbol of and a testament to the people's capacity to govern themselves. Its intent was to give each one of us the right and opportunity to live life, enjoy liberties, and pursue happiness free from oppression. The Constitution is also a living document. What do we mean by that? It's relevant just as much today as it was in 1787. In my job as a U.S. Magistrate Judge in this, these courtrooms, I apply the Constitution every day that I walk in here. The Constitution gives each of us the ability and responsibility to be good citizens. That includes to always endeavor to do what is right and what is good, to better our lives and the lives of others, to make a positive and meaningful difference, to dream of ways to make this an even greater nation, and to find ways to make your dreams come true. What are some of the ways you can do this? Get to know your neighbors and get involved in our community. There is nothing more important than grassroots efforts at the community level to make this a better place to live. There are many opportunities out there for you to consider schools, community charities, and service organizations. If you cannot find one, create your own. One thing that I emphasize with lawyers that come into this building and litigants, be kind to each other, be respectful. You can disagree if you disagree with someone, still respect their position. Also be willing to work and to work hard, not just for those worldly possessions, but to gain education and to gain knowledge. Be patriotic and be proud of your new citizenship. And by all means, please vote. And voting just isn't showing up and casting that vote. It's also researching those issues and those candidates that are on the ballot, both at the local, state, and the federal level. While your adopted homeland demands and deserves your allegiance here today, which you will swear to later, you should still have a concern and always remember the people and the land of your birth. And in making you one of us, we do not expect you to abandon your heritage, and the places that you came from. You must nurse these memories, teach your children of them, enjoy your ethnic and national communities, all the time using them as building blocks for a better and more produ productive life in this new homeland of yours. In closing, I wish for you all good things of life. I commend you on your decision and your hard work to get here today to become a citizen of this country. Embrace your freedom, embrace your country, and embrace each other. I wish each of you and your families good fortune. Do I have a motion today for the applicants? You may proceed.
Did I hear you correctly, sir? 30 applicants. Your motion is granted. I call upon our court clerk, Ms. Paige Wymore Wynn, to administer the oath to the 30 applicants for citizenship today. The applicants, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do hereby declare upon oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince potentate, state or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law, that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by law and that I take this obligation freely without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. By the power vested in me by the United States Constitution and the laws of the United States, the court hereby grants each of you citizenship in the United States of America. Congratulations. We would now like to invite you to join me in saying Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. Our flag is over here on the sun. I don't know about you, but I am tired of the pandemic. I never would have thought that we'd have a naturalization ceremony where you're standing in our lobby with masks on. So I'm sorry that we have to do that and we do the best that we can do. I want to invite each and every one of you, if you're so interested when the pandemic is over, to come back. I'd like to meet each and every one of you. I'd like to shake your hand. And if you want, you can take a photograph in my courtroom if that's something that interests you when the pandemic is over. This is a very special day. Enjoy it, savor it. I wish each one of you to be well. I wish each and every one of you to be safe and be good. Again, congratulations and savor the moment. Take care and God bless you.